Hey, what's up everyone? So this video is going to be about basically, can you actually EDC a microtech? Um, we've all seen the torture test videos that, you know, they've released and their partners, so to speak, where they do all sorts of things like throw them in mud and throw them across the parking lot and set them on fire and cut a tire and all that fucking bullshit. But the real question is, is realistically, as far as functionality, you know, what's really going to stop these things from functioning? Well, you're going to get some kind of obstruction or debris inside of the actual knife itself because the tolerances are very tight inside of these out the front knives. They're not very sloppy at all. You, you know, the tiniest little bit of debris that gets inside of there can cause, a, you know, everything from it failing to fire or retract to, you know, you could cause, you know, extra stress on the spring and snap your spring and all sorts of stuff like that. So I bought this UTX 85 with the sole intent of actually EDCing it and see if I could basically break it. And I've carrying, carried it now for, I don't know, probably, I would say close to a year, maybe, maybe a little bit less every day at work. Uh, again, I work in the trades, if you haven't seen my other videos. So my pocket's filled with sand, and if I'm down inside of a ditch, or, you know, I just generally get dirty. And, you know, don't underestimate the kind of damage that a little bit of sand inside of your pockets or debris will do to whatever is in your pockets. All the mag strips on my cards, my driver's license, everything are completely rubbed off inside of my wallet just from getting a little bit of sand inside of there. So, and it doesn't take long, maybe a couple of months and then I have to reorder a new card. So with that being said, I was curious whether or not this thing would actually hold up to me going out and working with it. Uh, typically tasks that I have at work would be, you know, cutting tape, um, you know, cutting tracer wires so that I can locate things, things of that nature or skinning electrical wires or just cutting rope, you know, whatever, uh, opening boxes, envelopes, whatever kind of shit that might come my way, as well as a, you know, I want to have something, I mean, that if I need to defend myself and it's all that I have within reach that it, I know it'll function, whether it's full of dirt or whatever else, you know, I have in my pocket. So this is kind of what we've ended up with here. Um, you can see, you know, there is some wear on the anodizing in the pocket clip and the firing button, but, you know, and then of course the blade, the, that always gets the wear first, right? That's what's being actually used. Uh, but I have not really had any issues with this. The original one that I bought actually had a, a failed fire on it, so I ended up having to return it before I even carried it. And when I got this one, it, it's been completely fine. About every week or so, I spray a little rim oil in it like they recommend and I blow it out. And that's really been it, you know. Uh, I'm sure at some point, all that rim oil that is knocking all that sand and lint and shit down into the bottom uh, is going to end up causing an issue to where I'm going to have to disassemble this and clean it out. But so far, it's been fine. It's not making any weird noises. It has never failed to fire on me. Uh, it, it's, you know, I've dropped it on asphalt uh, accidentally and, and it's been fine. There's a couple of, you know, small dings from that up at the top, but really nothing major. It, you know, this is not a show knife. I bought it so that I could pull this thing out one handed if I had a tool or, uh, you know, a manhole hook in the other hand and, um, you know, I could do whatever I needed to do. And it's, it's done that very well. The only complaint that I really do have about this is that when you have a Microtech with the design of their pocket clip inside of your pocket and I wear jeans, you know, if I have any sort of any like tools in my hand or tool bags or anything like that, it does have a tendency to kind of ride up a little bit and I have dropped it and almost lost it a couple times and I never lose shit. I have never, and I have this first knife that I bought to EDC, which was, over 10 years ago, it was a Kershaw, and I still have it. Yeah, so for me to lose something like that, uh, you know, it, it definitely, I feel like the pocket clip could have a little bit more retention on it. Uh, I did see in one of my other videos that 
EMP EDC, put that little detent ball on there to kind of catch the edge of your pocket if it does ride up on you, which I did like, and I would like to see something like that on this. But again, you know, it just kind of could happen really to any knife that you're carrying. You have the potential to lose it or knock it out of your pocket. Um, it wasn't related to the lanyard. I actually, this has not been on here very long. You could see it's pretty clean. So I was carrying it without the lanyard. Uh, actually part of why I put the lanyard on there was to just be able to constantly, you know, feel that it is still there because it is a fairly small and light knife. So, you know, when you've got a bunch of other shit in your pockets, you can lose this and not tell that it, you've lost it for a little while till you go to reach for it. But uh, as far as, you know, using it, I've sharpened it myself multiple times and it's been fine. I haven't had any issues with it. It sharpens pretty easily, retains an edge, and I have not had any failures on it. So I gotta hand it to Microtech, you know, they really do make a quality product. One of the other cons with them that I don't like is this screw bullshit. And the fact that they kind of discourage you from taking their knives apart. You know, if you wanna be able to open this up and clean it out, you shouldn't have to buy some, you know, special, uh, bit driver for that and then you void your warranty if you take it apart yourself and i kind of get that you know i i did work in manufacturing for a little bit for an off-road company doing shocks and things like that and i understand that some people do not have that kind of mechanical ability and they they take things apart and they can't get them back together and then they want to send it out and uh, you know or they put things together wrong they might cross thread screws you know, whatever it is and then they try to put it on the manufacturer. So I understand that aspect of it, but at the same time, like it should not void the warranty. They can tell if you sent it in, whether or not you fucked up and cross-threaded something or put something together wrong. Um, on one last note before I end this, I did put other oil in here outside of REM oil to see, you know, I used like a, I can't remember, it was like a Lucas gun oil or something I put in here just because I was out of REM oil at the time. And I just figured out, well, it probably wasn't that much of a difference, but it actually is. And when I did that, uh, the knife did not like it at all. You could tell it was kind of struggling to fire. So I just blew it out and ordered some more REM oil. And when it came in, uh, it was fine. I, you know, that was it. So with these, they can be carried EDC wise, you know, and actually be very reliable and, and, you know, be used and be, you know, beat them all to shit. And they, they hold up, they do really well. Uh, I don't know that they would necessarily be a folder for EDC, but again, my goal was to be able to get something out as quickly as possible. Um, because if you're opening up a manhole or something like that, and you're, you know, trying to do whatever it is you, you're doing, you don't want to be, you know, fiddling around with accidentally dropping something in there, trying to flip it open or, you know, whatever. That's, I also EDC some other folding knives and some other out the fronts, but this has been my main one for probably, you know, actually working about eight months or so, nine months. So yeah, it's really not a bad deal. Uh, for a couple hundred bucks, you know, this thing will easily go for, I, I would think, another year, another two years before I would have any issues. And it'll more than likely be either debris build up in the base uh, with, you know, the tight tolerances, as I mentioned, or it'll either be a snap spring. But, you know, at a certain point, things are going to wear out. And so I understand that. But yeah, you know, the, these definitely do hold up. You know, they're kind of torture test videos seem a little gimmicky and I think that they could do better in that sense where you know setting it on fire I mean the whole thing's fucking metal obviously that's just not doing anything it's just kind of more of a, a wow factor for for them or, or again cutting a tire you know they should be kind of basing their videos around like hey you can actually use these as well as collect them or make them safe queens or whatever it is that you want to do but you know the option is there they are very well made and uh with that being said that's pretty much you know the end of the video and my review of it but uh feel free to comment if you have any questions and i'll try to get back to you thanks for watching